All right, what's going on? It's been a while. Um, just picked up, well, just got delivered, that is, my uh, eyepiece from my uh, Hey, Jade here. The Celestron Luminous 31 millimeter, 82 degrees. I needed something to uh, help me with the F10 focal length telescope, which isn't bad, uh, but it's just not the field of view that I'm used to with my refractors, which are at F8 and F5, but still nice. And I've been rocking a uh, Swan 40 millimeter, 72 degrees, and it frames the uh, Beehive cluster very well, double cluster. But I needed just a little bit more uh, field of view. And my big boy down there, the uh, Mead, 20 millimeter, 82 degrees, but the magnification is just a little too strong for the, the field of view I wanted. A little bit lower power so I get the wider field. So I was hunting and searching and thought I'd give the Luminos a try since it's supposed to be, from what I hear, designed to work with the SET uh, focal length. So let me get it unboxed and uh, we'll have a look see. One second. So I have to hit the pause button because I only have two hands and trying to unbox it and hold the phone. I think the, I'll be wobbling too much. So give me one moment. Here's the box that comes in. It's fairly large. It's bigger than the box of meat came in, that's for sure. Luminous premium eyepiece. Celestron. Well, let me get it out the box. Let's see what we got. Okay. I'm gonna try it on one hand as I got the top of it off. I got foam here. Let's get this out the way. Let's see what we got. Mm, very well. Ooh, we. God, don't. Oh. oh, that is. That's a monster. Wow. <laughs> Golly. I didn't know it was going to be this big. This is huge. Let me get the uh, mead next to it to give you a comparison just, to see how, just so you can see how large this eyepiece is. One second. Okay. When I got the mead, I was, I watched a few reviews and I was aware of it when well, no, I wasn't. When I got it, I was very taken back by its size. But uh, as you can see, <laughs> the 31 millimeter Celestron Luminous, yeah, it's a lot taller, at least maybe about an inch and a half. And it's girth. Wow. That is massive. That is massive. But it should give me the uh, field of view I've been needing. Uh, water fill, less magnification than the meat here. So it should be a nice compromise between this and the uh, 40 millimeter swan. Apologize for the wind out here. It's a little windy, but the family's inside watching TV, too much noise. So I forgot to come on the back porch and uh, show you this out piece. But I've seen uh, good reviews and I'm really liking the build quality. Let's get this cap off here to get the lens. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's a big eyepiece. Let me put it inside the SCT, the edge real quick, see how it looks. And I'll close the video, one second. Well, there it is. Looks good to me. I hope the clouds uh, blow away so I can get a good look tonight at the Beehive Cluster. This eyepiece should really work well with this scope's F10 focal length. That's why I bought it. I mean, it's uh, what I understood from reading reviews on Cloudy Nights and uh, other uh, websites. The Luminous was designed to work with the uh, edge optics and its focal length. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, clear skies for all my fellow astronomers. I know everyone's been at home with this uh, virus and uh, quarantine and social distancing, but. Uh, the night sky is still there. It's not going anywhere. So have a good evening. Enjoy your scopes, y'all. Later.